Lorenzo, congratulations on being inducted into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thank you. It's an honor. Um, I sometimes I pinch myself and say I don't deserve it, but yet I'm here and, and I'll take it. And uh, just to be an honor with so many great guys from California and what they've done and what this means, it's a uh, it's a moment. And I think that all the participants and all the inductees are so grateful because uh, there's so many guys that out there that are worthy of this this honor. And for them to choose me, I'm grateful. Well, that's awesome. Boy, I got you started in wrestling. Believe it or not, it was the pigs and the cows and, and being raised on the farm and my father, you know, I'm from a small town Lamar, and uh, believe it or not, I never touched the wrestling mat to my freshman year in high school. And, uh, you know, raising pigs and stuff and wrestling and tussling them down. My dad said, you know what, you're playing football, but you're gonna, you're gonna wrestle. And uh, I went out wrestling my freshman year with a snap down and a double leg, and that's pretty much it. And, and uh, was able to take second in the Valley, win the league, you know, WIL and second in the Valley and went to the state as a freshman. And, and it was a, it was really just a, an accomplishment and uh, never really went to any camps and, you know, in the, in the off season, didn't have camps and just because wrestling wasn't big until my uh, junior year when Kent Olsen got on the, uh, got, came to the scene, came to Lamar High School and what Kent Olsen was able to do the t as a teacher, as a mentor and the things that he did. And not saying that the other coaches didn't love wrestling, but you know, he was a coach that just knew wrestling, loved wrestling, uh, and but everyone, I just, uh, you know, Ken Olsen, um, uh, we had a guy by the name of um, Joe Aquino was a wrestling coach, and they just did it. They were, they were coaches and the school just said, hey, we need a wrestling coach, and went out and those guys just volunteered and taught what they, they gave us everything they had, and uh, I was still able to uh, succeed and have some, uh, some success. That's awesome. <clears throat> First time I've heard that the wrestling with pigs got you going. Yeah, it, it, yeah, you know, believe it or not, yeah, you know, it's it's because my dad, we were on a farm, so you know, you have to when the pigs, you have to slough them. Sometimes you have to change pins, or you, you're cutting, you're cutting pigs, or sometimes because you want to sell the meat, so you have to hold them down and and be able to come. So I'm wrestling and tussling with pigs and calves every morning, and uh, I think those were some of those things that just made me strong. I think the foundation and the base that I have come from that country background. And just, you know, that I won't quit, hard work, getting up every morning, four or five o'clock in the morning, and having a routine. And I think that just gave me the discipline uh, when I started wrestling. Yeah. Did you have any wrestling heroes growing up? You know what? I, I locked like Kenny Monday. I remember watching like Kenny Monday and some of those uh, watching him. But, you know, I did, really didn't have it, it's It's interesting because... I didn't, you know, know much about wrestling. Um, we didn't, you know, have it like most kids grow up, you know, the bigger schools in Clovis and Fresno and different areas, you know, they start wrestling in third grade, fourth grade, you know, kindergartens, you know, and, and so they have that rich tradition, tra you know, tradition. So I didn't have any of that growing up. Um, I knew uh, the Ken Thomas and Gerald Thomas from Hanford, and they were older than me, but I heard they wrestled and saw them wrestle a couple of times, but really didn't have, um, any any background in wrestling myself personally? Yeah, uh, I can see that. Is there one uh, match or outstanding memory that you have from your time in, involved in sport? I know you're a multi-sport guy, so yeah. But yeah, I, I think that I played 16 years in NFL. Tried to get year 17 and ripped my hamstring. I would have never played that long if it wasn't for wrestling. What wrestling did for me as a person, the toughness, the perseverance. In football, you could blame it on the quarterback, you blame it on the offensive lineman. You had someone, to, you know, if someone you didn't have a game, you can say other people let you down. Wrestling was just you and that individual. And I remember getting on the mat and saying, and, and, and losing a match, and I was like, I said, I will never get pinned. I went four years, never in my life been pinned, ever. And those are things that you're just like, uh, you know, that's going to, you know, wanted to make me tough. And I just said, I'm not going to lose. I will never quit. I'll never, you know, just having that desire. But there was a match. I had several in high school. I remember messing with a guy named uh, Marvin Eastman. We wrestled at the Atwater Rotational. I was a sophomore. He was a senior. And everyone was talking about this match. And uh, two weeks prior to that, my dad went and watched him wrestle. And he said, you got this tough kid. This guy's tough. Adam Atwater, Marvin Eastman. And I was like, really? Really? And so we met at the Atwater Rotational. And it was a dual meet, and we tied 4-4. So it was an unbelievable match. And so I was looking forward to wrestling at the state. He ended up winning the state. I ended up taking fourth. So I didn't get that to, to that sweet revenge. But um, 
that was a match that I'll never forget. And then another great match that I remember in high school that was just amazing is wrestling Zach Ricks. Zach Ricks ended up playing at Fresno State. He and I played at Fresno State. He also wrestled at Fresno State. And um, I remember like yesterday, it's eight seconds left, and, and I'm on and uh, and uh, I'm on top, and I'm riding him out. Eight seconds left, and I think I'm up by uh, one. And he he switches me. And all of a sudden, I'm like, oh my goodness. And I'm looking, this is my senior year. I'm like, oh my God, I took second my junior year, took third my junior, uh, sophomore year. I'm like, I gotta win this state. So I remember hitting a Grammy roll of, of something I'd never done and just automatically hit the Grammy roll, got on top of him. And I looked at the clock and it said 2 1. I hold my arm up and it was an unbelievable match for me. So that match, in my opinion, was the best match ever in history for me because of the way that I won that match. Yeah, that is perfect. That was one of our questions, too. Yeah, <laughs> yes, Zach Ricks. Me and him are still great friends, by the way, to this day. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, if you had the opportunity to start your career over again in wrestling, is there anything that you would do differently? Oh, no question. I would have started, I would have started a lot earlier because I, I really believe that, you know, you look at guys and in the competitive part of me believe that I could have been maybe a three or four time state champion. Um, if I would have started just in the fourth grade and just not, that's what I would have did because I know what wrestling did for me. I think it helped me so much in football, just the agility, being in shape, being able to, to play at a high level and be able to sustain that. I just think that I would have definitely started earlier and I would even put that much more into it because when you're in the game and you know that you're good, sometimes you like, you know that you're going to win, you're expected to win. And what you know now, when anybody goes back and reflect, you could have turned it up with just a little bit more. You had just a little bit more in the tank, and sometimes you wish that you would have gave a little bit more. If I could start over, I know I'd be way better. Yeah, for sure. What would you like people to remember about Lorenzo Dean? I just want people to realize that, you know, wrestling and football is what I did. It's not who I am. Uh, you know, it's a sport. And one day they took that singlet, one day they take your football jersey, and then on the back of, you know, you played all these teams you played for, and it says Neil on the back, and it says whatever team you played for, wrestled for Fresno State, it said your name, you know, jersey in the back, it had your name. And one day they take those jerseys, and then all you have is your name. I want people to know that, hey, Lorenzo's a good person. Lorenzo cares. He loves God. He loves people and family. So I want to be remembered that, hey, look, I'm about giving and about sharing and understanding that it's not about me. It's about serving. And that's what life should be about, serving. Successful on that. Thank you. Once again, congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's an honor.